Oh, I think he might be going for the egg. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Oh, this is not what I expected. That's kind of not the most flattering animation. I think it's supposed to be rubbing the egg with its tail. But it looks like it's just shoving his tail up his butt. Go. Go get him. Claim him. Do your thing. <gasps> yes, it did it. Look at that. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here, modded aberration on the Alpha Tribe server. Man, oh man, does not get much better than that. Guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures, as you always do. Please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode, we tamed our second Reaper of the season, and it was a perfect, perfect 600 Reaper. So very cool. We then made these cloning machines. Look at the size, how gargantuan they are. We made not one, but two cloning machines and cloned both of our reapers so super sweet and this is all in anticipation of trying to breed them today yes i said it i said it breeding reapers you may say you can't do this d mac you can't breed reapers well i'll tell you what this is modded and in modded we should be able to breed anything yes anything so i'd like to try that today put anything to the test see if it can be a thing so before that, I've done I've, I've done a little bit of research, and the biggest issue with breeding reapers, of course, first of all, they don't have gender. They don't have gender. Well, we can fix that with these super amazing mutators. Yes, they actually have a function that allows you to change the gender. So, as well as add a gender to any creature that doesn't have one. So, it should be able to be a thing. Now, claiming it after the fact, because normally it's a belly birth, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, and that's been my biggest little hiccup. However, we do have this super amazing modded creature. It's called, like, the Confucius somethingist bird, and yes, it is a tameable creature on our server that I'd like to go try and find, check out, and tame. So, let's go. Shadow Stalker. Let's go see if we can locate one of these guys. Now, I've been reading up how on earth you tame this modded creature. And it's kind of a, an interesting taming mechanic. I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place with my Drake today. Don't mind me. And you know what? We should get our light. I, I was like, why is it so dark today? Why is everything so dark? It's because we don't have our little breedy pet or our little bulby pet. Hold on, hold on. Can't forget about him. Come here, Fido. Get your butt over here. We need your assistance. Get your butt out here, Fido. Look at you trying to hide. Trying to hide. All right. Fido. Got him. Check. By the way, how do you like Fido's new little helmet? Look at that. Oh, yes. He's Riot Fido. Super sweet. Just a little extra added protection is always appreciated. All right. So these, these Confucius birds is what I'm going to call them. Okay. My goodness. These earthquakes, there's also an update in Ark where they, they changed some stuff with the earthquake so it doesn't have as much like ground shake when you have your shake scale down, which kind of, I don't know how I feel about that because I don't like shake scale for normal dinos, but I kind of liked it for the earthquake. Holy crap, there's, there's a basilisk right there. Dude, are you serious? You're kind of in my way for what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, you dummy. All right, how are we gonna get this guy? All right, let's pop off. Should aggro him. Come here, buddy, bro. I am going to destroy. Oh, I'm going to destroy you if you don't destroy me first. All right, here we go. As long as you're close to a basilisk, they won't shoot those annoying, annoying things. And did that hurt my armor? Because my armor's kind of expensive. No, it looks like it just goes straight through your armor. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying, these are the trees I was talking about. These are part of the mod. And in these trees, so nice, we have a jetpack to just fly right up. You have the nests of this creature. And their inventories, and right inside, look at that. Oh, basilisk egg. Look at, get all these awesome eggs. 
So first of all, is great for cable collection or any type of egg collection that you may need to do down the lines, but it will also, if you have a fertilized egg, basically the function of this animal, of this creature, is to try and help you out with egg breeding, egg hatching, all that sort of good stuff. So very cool and is a little shoulder mount. So anyway, this is where we should hopefully find one of those super cool new birds. They almost look like a, a feather light, I, I believe. So whenever I've seen one, every time I see one, I'm like, what's a feather light doing out here in the world? They're not supposed to spawn there. And then I kill it, and then it's like, oh, dang it, it was another one of those birds. So anyway, the, the way you tame this, this new creature, you got to get a fertilized egg. And then throw, I guess, throw it on the ground. It'll go pick it up and try and hatch it, do, do its thing. And while it's doing that, you can passive tame it using seeds. Yes, seeds. So it should be kind of interesting. But the basically, the larger the egg, and it's got to be a non-wyvern egg, it said. The larger the egg, the better possibility or the better uh, taming efficiency you will get. So for good fertilized eggs, we can hatch one out. I think the biggest creature that would have an egg on here would either be a basilisk, which they have eggs, but I don't, you're not supposed to be able to breed them. So fertilize, it would probably be Spino. This would be my best guess, unless, unless they will take a rock drake egg, which that also could be. So let's go ahead, grab a rock drake egg to take with us. And we're gonna have to otherwise find another Spino to tames just so we can get a fertilized egg. I really don't care the level or anything. We just gotta get it tamed. All right, so this, we have a female currently. We need to get a male. So let's keep our eyes open for a male. Let's get her taming XL. Let's get this shenanigans going on so we can knock it out. Lickety split. So, I mean, all these little things that I gotta do before I can even get to taming the bird. And it may not even matter, but I don't have any fertilized eggs other than this rock drake, which is giving me problems today. So can we find a male spino? Let's go hunting for a male spino. Let's get one tamed up. Ooh, and I should probably also grab some food of foods for the spino. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Nice little easy spino, level 80. Yeah, I don't care about the level. I just want to get the egg. Now I have to hope, by the way, that when it says the larger the egg, that it means based on like the species of animal. Like, you know, a spino egg would be bigger than a raptor egg. I have to hope that's what it meant and not the level of the egg. You know, meaning like what the parent's level was. So we'll find out. It's no biggie if we're wrong. This is more for experimentation. All right, get knocked out. Oh, and with such a low level, it's so much easier to tame. All right, come here, buddy, bro. Come here. All right, so I got 10 RG kibble. It should be more than enough. It's probably only going to take one, in fact. And being such a low level, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to even waste the Taming XL. You know what? We can make more Taming XL. It's not a big deal. Why are you being so cheap, DMAC? Why are you being so cheap? Let's go ahead. Use it. Tamed. Give me back the kibble. Super sweet. All right, and here should be our egg. Bum-bammy. Fertilized Spino egg. Give me here. All right, you did amazing, guys. You did amazing. Disable Wander. You know, I heard S Plus has a new gun that you can just use to click on a guy to have it enable and disable Wander. That would be super handy dandy and helpful. Let's just unhitch you. The male, I'll unhitch you too. Just so I don't forget. What? Stop, Wander. I turned you off, Wander, you dummy. All right, guys, I think, I think, I think this, we, this is actually one. See, there's a little bird here. Oh, I know there's a little bird. Look at that little stink butt. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Take my eggs. Take my eggs. Did it, did it get scared off? Oh, here it comes. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I just saw it. Where'd it go? Are you kidding me? We saw the little flappy wings, but it was definitely scared away. Uh, all right, let's pick those back up again. Let's see if we can relocate them. I can't believe I even found that little dude. I just saw the little the little wings. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, let's drop, drop the eggs. Bam, bam. It's gotta want one of them. It's 
got to want one of them. And then I believe it said we can passive tame it while it's hatching the egg. Where's our little... There we go. All right. I don't know. Let's... Let's see. It's not going after the eggs. Let's just see if we can passive tame it. Um... Does not want to be tamed right now. All right. Whatever that means. Let's... Let's get the eggs a lot closer so it should want them when we throw them on the ground you got an egg right next to you bro it's like right there right stinking there <laughs> what is going on with him I just do not know I do not get it but that's definitely one of the birds all right we'll, we'll give we'll is there anything going on with the egg? No. Oh man, I hope I'm even doing this right. I hope this is even a thing. Um, I suppose we could help him by destroying this rock. This might just... Is this a non-breakable rock? Yeah, it's a non-breakable rock. Come on, buddy, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, he's he's unstuck. He's unstuck. He's flying around. Are you going to my egg? Alright, what's he doing? What you doing, bro? Alright, he's back there. Why do you keep going back there, bro? Doesn't want to be tamed right now. What a dummy. What a dummy. Alright, let's just take the egg. I don't know. Let's put the egg and see if we can give him the egg. Could that be a thing? Nope, not a thing. All right, good to know. Let's uh, let's toss the eggs again. They're like right on top of you, bro. Isn't this what your job is? Oh, I just don't know. This guy's a dummy. All right, let's see if we can just wait for him to like, I don't know, go further away. Stop going after these rocks, bro. Stop going after the rocks. The rocks are not good. What a dumb me. All right, let's wait for him. I guess wait for him to go back to a tree or something. All right, guys, I found another one. It's right here. It's just right there. All right, let's go. Let's get egg dropped. Egg dropped. All right, let's get maybe a little bit closer. Oh, crap, where is it? Where'd you go, bro? Where'd you go? You're just right here. Um, where the crap did it go? They just disappear. Did he climb off the edge? Oh, there's his tree. Oh, that's the tree right there. That's the tree. Oh, oh, you see him? You see him? Oh, dude, is he going for the egg? Oh, I think he might be going for the egg. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Oh, this is not what I expected. All right, all right. So it should be tameable now. While he's up there. All right. Where the crap is it? It's, it's sitting on the egg, kind of. All right, can we get in there without disturbing anything? Oh, man. No, no, no. Get, get. Oh, man, this would be so hard to do. If I didn't have the jetpack. All right, can I can I get in? I have it in my last slot. Oh man. Can I can I angle at him? I don't want to pick up the egg. Can I get Can I look at you, bro? Am I laying down? Yeah, I'm laying down. How in the crap do I get him? The egg is way too big. Come on, brosy. Let me tame you. Oh, crap. We're going to have to pick up the egg. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, How do I get underneath him? All right. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, doesn't want to be tamed right now. All right. Let's drop the spino egg instead. What's going to happen? All right, I dropped the spino egg right there on the nest. Is he going to go for it? I can't even see where the crap the bird went. Birdie bird, where'd you go? Oh, 
Oh man, did we scare the dumb thing off? All right, well, at least we got that down. We Okay, there he is, there he is. All right, is he coming for the egg? Are you coming for your egg? Where the crap did he go? Oh my goodness, such a frustrating taming mechanic. All right, it's right there. Okay, it's seeing the egg. Picks up the egg, puts it down. Oh, perfect. Yes, yes, it's working. All right, so see, this time he's actually on top of the egg. It was just glitched out with the Drake egg. Oh, that's so cool. He's so derpy looking too. Look at that face. Oh my goodness, wait until hungry. And you can see the taming effectiveness 100% with the Spino Egg, so that's cool. Plus 169 levels, and we got a 340, that's not bad. The highest one on the server was a 360. But yeah, definitely wanna, wanna be doing it near the tree. All right, come on, get hungry again, bro. How's our egg doing? It's incubating. We got to hope that he's hungry before that egg hatches. Otherwise, we might have to use multiple eggs. I wonder how that works. Exactly. All right. His hunger's going down. It's probably going to be two more at this rate. So I'll see you back in the final bite. All right, guys, it better get hungry soon. I did another bite to it, but this egg is hatched in 45 seconds. I don't know what to do if the egg hatches before it's ready. So it might be, if this was a higher level, it might actually take multiple eggs to do it. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. It might still allow you to tame it while it's a baby. 29 seconds, come on. We might have just enough time to do it real quick. Cause it is getting hungry a bit faster. It's so weird though, look at it. That's kind of not the most flattering animation. I think it's supposed to be rubbing the egg with its tail, but it looks like it's just shoving his tail up his butt. I don't know, bro, I don't know, but we got seven seconds. Oh, oh no, that was poop. Come on, baby, do it. Don't ruin my tame, and this has taken me forever. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 460. Oh, gosh, darn it. Oh, I don't know what to do. All right, um, I guess claim it. I mean, why not? All right, let's maybe throw down, um, here, baby Spino, come over here. We have to hope that it carries over, you know, to the, to the next team. All right, so why don't we go ahead and drop the next egg? Maybe it was just glitched up that one time and it'll be fixed from here on out. All right, let's go ahead. I really don't care about this baby. So let's go disable wandering, unfollow. I don't know, maybe it will grow up. Maybe it will be a thing. I'll give, I'll give it some food. I feel bad. I can't just leave a baby abandoned like this. Here you go, buddy, bro. All right, let's see if that little bird comes back for the egg. All right, here it's chilling right there. It's like inside the mushroom. Oh man, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, how frustrating. All right, let's go back to that egg spot. It was actually kind of good just already being up here. Let's drop the egg. And it should hopefully come up and do the same shenanigans if it ever returns. All right, we'll see, we'll see, guys. All right, there it is, there it is. Oh, it looks like it's going back to like the first spot where it thought the egg was, but it's not there anymore. Maybe, all right, come on, come on. Oh man, all right, here it is, here it is. Don't, oh, it's doing that same thing where it goes inside of the egg. Urgh. All right, um, I guess they would. this would make it hungry. Is there any way to get underneath it, though? I just want to see if it's got its, its efficiency, like, reset or not. 
Oh, it also says too high. All right, so on the plus side, on the plus side, it should stay here rubbing that egg forever. Let's go see if we can get another another egg going on. And we can bring the baby spinal back home. All right, that can be a thing. Maybe the, maybe the timer reset. All right, guys, we got our next egg. Let's just leave them on breeding. And all right, teleport back. Let's just, oh man, we have to hope, 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 hope that the birds kept its taming efficiency because otherwise it, it goes right out. If it starts over again, yeah, we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble because the same thing is just going to happen over and over again. And it's probably due to our eggs, the hatching, being uh, a little too quick. Like our rates are just too high on the server. But it looks like it's still there. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this other egg. Drop it right there. Okay, I'll pick it up. Let's pick up this one. You know, I wonder if I could have tamed it if I was really, really quick. All right, it's flying away. It should be going for the spino egg now. You know, I wonder if that's what happened before with the other bird. You know how it was just like flying and it was going straight into the rock? I wonder if it saw an egg, like in its pathfinding, just didn't know how to deal with aberration rocks. That definitely could be a thing. Oh, for sure. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But again, just, just, this is, this is, uh, yeah, just my opinion of what might have happened. All right, so the egg's right there. It seems the best way to do it. All right, here he comes. You can see him way back there. Coming up. All right, and come on, come on, come on. Let's get ready to do the tame. All right, picked up the egg. He's down. ba bam -y. All right, his efficiency is still at 100%. So why that didn't finish the tame, I don't know. It might be the level of the egg. It's a little bit lower. Oh, his hunger, though. Look at that hunger. All right, this is perfect. It still is at 100%, so that's all that matters. Why it's not? Okay, okay. Yes, and we did it. We did it. Beautiful. All right, guys, and there we have it. The Confucius bird. Oh, man, it is so cool looking. I love it. So shoulder mount is not exclusive to Aberration, but does work in Aberration for the mod. And yes, as you can see, it is an aberrant Confucius bird. Now, what does that mean being aberrant? Well, depending on normally the biome you catch these guys in, they have different special traits. In the redwoods, they'd be normally browns and greens in color with boosted hatch rate abilities. In the desert, they'd be red and oranges with boosted hyperthermic insulation for the eggs. In the snow, it would be blues and whites with boosted hypothermic insulation for the colder climate. And then in the aberrant ones, um, it says that it can be a combination of any of the different types because uh, of the radiation. And then there's also unknown whatever. So anyway, what does this mean? We can view the geographic ancestry Oh, so look at this. We can actually boost. It's three parts desert, one part redwoods, one part snow, one part, zero parts unknown. So I'm assuming when you level it up, you can maybe choose which one you want it to be. That is super cool. It also does have a gender. So I bet you can even breed these things. All right. And then let's see other stuff. Egg and baby care. All right, so enable return to survivor, enable fast commands, enable command on launch, auto egg collection, enable auto fertilize egg collection hatching, enable auto baby care, auto baby claiming. So this is what's important to us is that we can, we wanna use this guy to claim the reaper. So that's enabled. 
All right, guys, we should get two tries at this. So because we have the clones, which I'm doing first, and then we have the non clones. So let's let's go ahead and see what's up. Let's first show the range of the mutator. Make sure it's not going to mutate anything that I don't want it to. It looks like the Drake is just outside. All right. So the only thing that's going to really get mutated, maybe that little baby Spino in there, but I really don't care what goes on with the baby Spino. Now here might be good enough because I'm expecting, I'm not expecting a fully grown reaper, but as you can see, we do have this under, under area. So if something does glitch through, it should be fine. And there are solutions if you, if you are looking out for it to glitch through. Um, you can actually supposedly just put a dead corpse in whatever the baby or whatever will aggro at it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this. Let's go ahead and use the mutator. Oh, I got to get element for it, of course, of course. All right, element. Can we turn that off, maybe? Will that fix it? Jeez. There we go. Thank you, sir. Let's grab two things of element. That's probably going to be more than it needs. But let's grab it nonetheless. All right, so first thing, pulse radiation, no. Swaps gender, no. Um, generalist dinos for six areas, uh, uh, six hours. All right, create gender pulse. All right, let's go ahead, do that, and ba bammy. All right, so we have a male and we have another male. All right, so I think we need to create a secondary gender pulse. So swaps gender. All right, why don't we have the 600, the bigger one, be the one we want. So let's get this guy out of the pulse range. All right, cool. Oh man, I hope it don't mess up with my uh, my own dude. All right, so next is the swap gender pulse. All right, swap the gender. Come on, baby. All right. So now that one is a female. Perfect, this is exactly what we want. All right, next up, let's go grab Ripzilla again. Ripzilla clone, who will be named today, the end of the episode. All right, so we got these guys both in there now. We have a male and we have a female. All right, next I wanna do the radiation pulses. So create mutation pulse. That's mutation pulse one. Create mutation pulse two. All right, so that's one pulse. Second mutation pulse, please reach him. We'll see in just a moment. All right, so that should be double mutation pulse. So create allow breeding pulse. All right, is that gonna affect both of them? Good, it should have. I should have had a Drake or something in here. All right, so we got breeding pulse going on now. Next, let's do harvest setting. No, not harvest settings. Behavior, enable wandering, and behavior, enable wandering. And because of the radiation pulses, I do believe they won't move. All right, we can see that they're mating. Oh man, this is awesome. All right. Come on, baby. Get that little, little thing. Now I have a pheromone on my person. So if we do need it, I do have it. Let's just do a little eats first. Eat, eat, eat. All right, and let's swap that up. And this can be swapped out too. Oh man, this is so awesome. I can't believe it. We're gonna get hopefully a mutated baby. Super awesome, awesome Reaper King. All right, 99.5, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be a fully grown one or is it gonna be a little baby thing? Oh my goodness, we should put everyone on passive, by the way, too. All right, what happened? What happened? Did you do it? Did you poop them out? Oh, you know what? I'm a dingus. I'm a total dingus. That would have been, because it would be a live birth, that would have just been the pregnancy. So it's still going, it should, spit out a baby eventually all right cool so if all goes well it should be a pregnancy and it should poop it out and that is the female 
I have the father up there. So we'll keep an eye out. We'll see what happens. Either way, this is pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. All right, guys, quite a bit of time has passed and nothing, absolutely nothing to really show that anything's going on that anything's gonna happen. I mean, it's possible they could take a really, really long time, but it, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like the S plus stuff is just not working. So we have the special potions, the breeding potions. We can try and make this a thing, make it work this way. And it's actually a lot cheaper. Let's go ahead to the community center. So these are also our originals, just in case clones don't work. They should work. I don't see why they wouldn't work. The wiki doesn't say anything about it, saying they shouldn't, but just in case. All right, let's go ahead. I made the whole breeding center a little bit larger, or excuse me, I put I made the floors a little bit better. And I think this time, in case it did happen and it fell through the ground. Oh, what the crap, sneaky snake? How in the crap did Sneaky Snake get back here? Oh, <gasps> guys. Oh, that's what happened. Sneaky Snake was buried a long time ago. Oh my goodness. And I just laid out all these roofs and now Sneaky Snake is back. Oh, Sneaky Snake, come here. Oh, I can't believe that happened. That's so bizarre. Sneaky, Sneaky Snake. You see him, he's right there. How on earth? How, what in the crap? <laughs> All right, let's just make sure disable wandering because I guess he was on wander. Sneaky snake. Oh, man. All right. I want to get one of these uh, these teleporter things. What's it called? Is it called Dino? OK, let's get one of these made up and put it on sneaky snake. Oh, my goodness. That is for real. What happened? Sneaky snake was right there the whole time. Oh, my goodness. Sneaky snake. How sneaky you are. All right, so we got that on Sneaky Snake. Let's see if we can teleport Sneaky Snake over here. I can't believe it, that is so bizarre. Seriously, that is the most bizarre thing ever. All right, let's get our, um, the weirdest things happen, I'm telling you, the weirdest things today. All right, Sneaky Snake. Oh my goodness, I missed you so much, dude. I totally missed you and we have you back. That in itself makes today an awesome day, seriously. All right, very sneaky snake. So what other shenanigans is going on here? Wow, sneaky snake, how on earth? Where have you been, bro? That is the most bizarrest thing ever in the world. I cannot believe it. All right, so everybody's inside now, right? Everybody's inside? Come on. All right, let's do a little jump here just so we can get a little bit closer. All right, everybody's inside. So now let's try the potion thing. The whole dino potions, these guys right here, it's called fixed dino potion. It only costs one thatch each. So let's try this out. It says that it's genderless right as of now. Let's try one potion. What's gonna happen now? So it's still genderless. Let's try another potion. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Do yeah, see it says enable wander to mate now. All right, so we did two potions on you. We'll do one potion on you. One potion on you. All right, and it should say enable wander to mate. So that would be one's a male, one's a female. Now I think if we look with the super spyglass, yeah, see female and male. Okay, so that's all working now. Enable wandering. All right, so those two are wandering. Look it, look it, look it. We're seeing the shenanigans on the mama. It's a thing. All right, don't, oh crap. It probably can walk over a too high wall. We have to hope that doesn't happen. Look it, we can see the matings going on. All right, 93.3%, come on. I'm worried about the whole server lag scenario where it all of a sudden says done. All right, 93.3. Come on, finish your breed. Oh, it did it, it did it, it did it. <gasps> All right, they both roared, so that's a thing, but it didn't have the baby yet. I don't see any baby, do you? 
I'm not seeing one. All right, so I'm just going to leave them, I guess, up there until they actually have the baby. This would make the most sense. And then if it's too big, it should just fall through here and be down here. Or if it's the little thing, it should slither through and fall down here. Either way, we should see a little baby come down here. And I'm just counting for awesome. All right, so I'll see you back when the pregnancy's done. Cross your fingers this works this time, guys. Oh man, it just happened. It just happened. Look at, look at, look at. It's a little baby reaper. Holy crud. Oh, it's right there. See him? See him right down there? Oh, and it looks like a fully grown reaper too. Oh man. All right, let's see what's up. Can I just claim it normal? Imprint on baby reaper. All right, let's try the pheromone first. Does that allow me to do it? No. All right, can we throw out confusion? Go, go get him, claim him, do your thing. <gasps> yes, it did it, look at that. Oh, this is awesome, guys. This is awesome. All right, hold on, let's turn off this mask. Oh man, this is so cool. There you go, so that's why we needed this bird. Oh, and it just takes a long time. Oh lordy lord, you are so awesome though, brosy. All right, and it should take care of them too, but in case it won't, in case it doesn't, come here, buddy bro, let's grab half your meat there, and let's throw it into the reaper. Oh, now let's see other things, can I, oh, it, it, so this guy should automatically, when I throw him out, it will disable the wandering as well as tell it not to follow, just so dumb shenanigans doesn't happen. You can actually automate the little babies. All right, come here, follow me. Come over, come over here. All right, sweet. And I think it might even be able to imprint for us. Although we'll come back to check. 655 Reaper Queen, Reaper. Which isn't bad, you know, between the two of them because we had a 675, but then our other one was not perfect. So that's why the baby's like that. But it looks like we did possibly get some mutations. It's super cool looking. It's got the red back. And this time, it looks like it's got a yellow belly. Let's actually see if we can see uh, mutations. No mutations. Aw, oh, dang it. Dang it. All right. Cool either way. We got a Reaper baby. And man, oh man, is it awesome looking. I'm so pleased. Oh, little birdie, you, you take care of him, please. You take care of him for us. Let's just see behavior and let's put the stance onto passive. Sweet. All right, guys. So the potion one worked. Our Reaper King is now a juvenile 23 minutes until it wants care. Super duper cool. I do think, however, I want to try again for the S plus one. These guys say that they're all ready to go once again. So let's go ahead and do it. Allow breeding pulse. So Bammy. Mutation pulse, bammy, second mutation pulse, bammy. All right, pulsed, breeding, mutation one, mutation two. Cool. And look at that, even the baby got that. Wonder if the baby can breed to make more babies with how this works. I, I just don't know. But these guys shouldn't be able to move. So let's go ahead and do behavior enable wandering and behavior enable wandering we'll see what happens it claims they're ready to mate now let's just see which one's the male which one's the female you can't see it that way the best way is if you're doing modded you can look at it like this and that should be the female but there this time is no bar whereas last time there was a bar so this is quite curious what is going on We'll just have to wait and find out, see what happens, see if we get a baby this time. All right, guys, it is time to imprint on the baby. Here we go, wants to cuddle, ba bammy, 50%. Beautiful, beautiful, now something kind of interesting. Notice, I don't know if this is because of our birdie bird that imprinted on him originally, but it does not have the bar to tell you 
any of that, you know, any of the shenanigans to say like that you've imprinted on them. So I hope it's even working or happening. We'll, we'll just find out once we eventually can mount them. Also good to know, it's telling me that this birdie bird will not take do any of the caregiving. So anyway, we're about halfway done on this guy and still no luck, no baby has happened for these two. Now it could just be, cause see these guys, it, it says ready to mate on them still. So I just don't know. I don't know what their deal is. It might have messed up the first time, fell through the world and it doesn't happen. And now the counter's just off. So I'm not gonna dismiss it as S plus doesn't work but we haven't proven it that it does work just that the potions do so in any case we'll try again another time but our reaper army is now two four five strong i'm loving it absolutely loving it and this bird is super duper cool you really could just leave these guys on wander and breeding up there and then have this little birdie bird you know, down below, just chilling and can take care of all your babies for you and at least imprint on them. No care given, but at least imprint so that they don't die, which is super awesome. Seriously, what a great mod. Now, and I, I believe also it does it, it does better care giving or something of the such. The more you punch it, pump its melee. In any case, very cool. I do dig it. I do dig it. Um, on that note, guys, I think we did pretty gosh darn well today. We got an awesome baby. I'll stick around. I'll finish giving care to it. We'll see what's up. But yet yeah, another amazing Reaper, our sweet little birdie bird. And we got Sneaky Snake back. Most of all, the most important thing of all, we got a Sneaky Snake back. I love it. Sneaky Snake, I've missed you so very much. Holy crud. All right, another fertilized egg from these guys. Thank you guys, we'll use that for taming our next little birdie bird. Come here, Sneaky Snake. We got we got to say hello to the peeps. Sneaky Snake says, I was in another dimension. I was stuck, I was trapped. No, not you, you dumb spino. Move, I said Sneaky Snake. Don't try and steal the spotlight. There we go, Sneaky Snake, I missed you. Give the peeps a roar. Oh my goodness, Sneaky Snake. He's like, I'm a little dizzy. Dimensional travel, you know, it just does that to you. All right, buddy, bro, give him a roar. Oh, you're all set. You're all good. Oh, I love you, Sneaky Snake. All right. So, ooh, look at all those spino eggs there. So much shenanigans. Oh, I do love it. Anyway, we said we we're going to do some more naming today. So let me go through the comments and, uh, yeah, pick out some names for our new Reapers. I love it. All right, guys, it is that time. Yes, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I try my best to pick names that you guys suggested in the comments below to name my dinos after. So all you gotta do if you wanna help out with this is you gotta A, you gotta be a subscriber, and B, just put your suggestion in the comments below. And it's a possibility in next episode, I could choose your name. Sound cool? I think it sounds cool. I love it. It helps me out so very much because we tame so many creatures and it's just hard to come up with so many names. So it also forces me to read through all the comments to find out too. Not that that's a force, but you know, you know, there's so many, but I got to pick the best names. Anyway, for two of the new ones, for the 600, we have Solar Flare, I think was an awesome, awesome name. Totally cool, and the most voted on name, the most thumbed up name was Zekrom, which is a Pokemon, which I, I think is totally cool. So this is what our clone of Ripzilla is, is now Zekrom. So cool, and I put, it, it ends up saying clone there anyway, no matter what you put after the name, but I was gonna put the little star for that. So anyway, cool, Solar Flare, Zekrom, and there should be one more, but guess what guys, the same exact thing that happened to Sneaky Snake happened over here i hit i went to go interact with it i hit e it buried it and it was just gone just gone so if this works out the way i think it does if i go here and i put down these possibly it should show back up maybe oh man this is how i did it before this is how i did it before 
So what the crap? Who knows? One day it will show up. Something will happen. I just don't know what happened, but this is a definite bug that consistently is happening. St Sneaky Snake, tell me your secrets of time dimensional travel. Because this is seriously shenanigans. I don't know how it got back here. It just appeared again. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe one day we'll, we'll find our other one. But just so you know, what I was going to name it was, let's see, Solar Flare. I was going to name it Star Strike, I think, or, Sol or Sun Strike. One of the ones, one of the others, I don't know. But for next episode, we need to name the Baby Reaper King, our first and only Baby Reaper, hopefully one of many. 655 in level oh i love it so very much so anyway guys on that note please remember show your amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness also now that i think about it do not forget to help pick out an awesome name for our our little confucius or however the crap you say his name's bird right he goes right all right, guys, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and peace out. Oh, my goodness, and you know what? I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just sat down. I removed the, one of the catwalks over here, and all of a sudden, it's a thing. She reappeared over on this side of the base. What in the crap? All right, can, can we unbury you? All right, let's teleport her. Oh, man, I can't believe that happened. It's so weird. All right, community center, outside. Let's do it. That is so bizarre. Yeah. What is up with that glitch?